Hey, good morning, folks, and welcome again to another exciting episode of Friday with Fran, the real estate man, and it is February. How did that happen? February 1st. But this is what we do on the first Saturday of February. Each and every year we celebrate this ice cream for breakfast. And uh, just a small little family story is my father-in-law would never muddle over what he would get for breakfast when we went to Friendly's. It was always waffles a la mode. And so that was 8 in the morning. But anyway, it made for a happy day for him and it could make for a happy weekend for you. But now let's get into another kind of ice cream. What's the scoop, get it, in real estate? Well, those rates are still holding steady in there, up a little bit of a tick. But at 6.25, they are way down from the eighths of last year. So those two points have put a flurry into to the market for sure. Uh, we're not seeing this just yet. We we're predicted to have about 13% more homes. We're not seeing that just yet. Uh, out there with the buyers last week, multiple offers. Sorry to say I didn't get this one because there were 27 offers on a property. Uh, and we were kind of up close. But as they say, close, no cigar. But this is really what's trending. You know, we don't want to tell you what's going on right specifically last week or maybe what we think now. We want to show you a trend of what's going on. So when we look over the past six months, we're seeing that, that the month supply of inventory is still ticking down and now it's under a month. So uh, that's why we're having those multiple offers. Inventory down versus last year. Uh, at this time is about 35% which uh, we are waiting for that spring market to really pop. Those that have jumped in the gun are seeing the multiple offers. Uh, but uh, So you might want to as uh, one to list your property. Think about going a little earlier um, because you know we don't we, we inspect that there will be that increase and of course if there's more supply uh, there is going to be more competition for your property. So days on the market, 17, uh, that is a tick up because folks have come to their sanity and they're doing inspections again. Uh, they are taking the time doing their due diligence and not just willy nilly, uh, uh, just going throwing dollars at things, uh, which may not appraise in the future or even when you put the offer in now. So um, list is sold, it's kind of flat right there. Uh, we have basically, if you go year over year, it's about 7% higher. Uh, but right now we're seeing this flat uh, there. But the median price continues to go ahead and be more than last year. As I said, that's 7%. But that one where I said list of sold price, we as agents and as sellers uh, are seeing people price it right and not really trying to throw things out there. Uh, the, that is why you know we're only seeing 17 days on the market. So anyway, I'll keep you up on the trends. Uh, maybe go get your favorite ice cream and get a, a box of uh, Eggo waffles and uh, you're all set for Saturday morning and you can kick it off. And uh, in my deep studies on this uh, holiday, uh, one of the main effects of this holiday is that when you start the day treating yourself well, the rest of the day goes well as well. So maybe get out there, work out at the gym, work off some of those calories, come home, put a couple scoops on there and get set for a happy weekend. Anyway, take care, thanks for listening, and we will see you on another exciting episode of, you got it, Friday with Fran, the real estate man. Have a great weekend.